Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, good morning, everyone, um, and uh, welcome back to the uh, to the second uh, uh, second day here. Um, so we're going to try to, or maybe as a quick introduction to myself first, I'm Henrik Mandelson. I work for Texas Instruments. Uh, I'm in our system uh, engineering team that supports the energy infrastructure. So obviously, EV charging is one of the, you know, end equipments that uh, we support. Uh, I have a, uh, I have a couple of slides later on. I'm going to talk a little bit more what TI does broadly in the EV charging space and so on. But um, we all hear the rumbling outside, and, and the, you know, I think. You know, we have some tents there, but they might work well with drizzle, but maybe not if it's it's storming. So I think uh, what we're going to try to do is to get to the outdoor demos as as quick as we can. Um, so um, you know, with that, and we're going to do three demos outside. Um, uh, so that's um, uh, intelligent, uh, which is going to show uh, you know their uh, DC charger uh, charging a Rivian and this uh, charge con uh, the charge control or charge byte. Um, uh, and I don't think Martin is here yet. I haven't seen him, but maybe, you know, if we get out there, we're going to intercept with him out there. I think most of, as uh, Martin presented yesterday, I think most of us uh, know what, what that uh, demo is going to be about. Um, and then uh, Pionix is going to show their micro uh, megawatt charger and a Polestar 2. So with that, maybe um, I have to think we have a couple of uh, slides there. So maybe I ask, uh, you know, David and Janek, who both are here at least, uh, to come up and just uh, quickly introduce them themselves. So I don't know, start with Pionics maybe. Thanks, Henrik. Um, yeah, so we're going to show you the micro megawatt charger, which is basically a handheld uh, DC charger protocol tester. So this device, um, runs Everest locally on a little computer that has a little screen. It's capable of AC and DC charging with different protocols like DIN and ISO 15118. And it even has a local OCPP 1.6 backend based on Steve open source for some basic test cases. Um, so this is really what we at Pionics use when we go to the charring test level um, or in our lab to test interoperability between the Everest stack and different vehicles. We kind of had to build this hardware to test our stack, but we do also now sell it on our shop um, for other companies. It's most useful really for automakers, um, so we sold a couple to those because it offers a real world implementation to test against. And most of the other products on the market are protocol testers that test super close to the standard, which then often means you're not that real world compatible. Um, so, uh, my colleague Julian will uh, demonstrate the device. We have a Polestar 2 that we rented, and we can do a couple AC and DC charging sessions and, and show it off. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Derek. Um, great. Uh, and do we have, yeah, intelligence? Uh, so, maybe our Brian to uh, come up and present or introduce that. I am Brian Reeves from Intelligent, uh, and my brother David, we have the same last name, he's outside putting the demo uh, together and he'll be demonstrating it. Uh, what we're demonstrating is a 12 and a half kilowatt solar panel power DC uh, so, uh, charger. It's a DC charger that is run, it's DC coupled, so it takes DC input. We have various implementations of this technology. Uh, this one, this particular variant that we have actually connects to solar panels. So you connect these directly to two P, well, one to two PV strings uh, that would be at anywhere from 340 to 600 volts, uh, 25 amps each input to get up to 12 and a half kilowatts. So basically you plug in and charge while the sun shines if there's enough power uh, to, to, to charge the vehicle. So you can, it's meant to connect up to solar canopies. Uh, without having to use any sort of uh, AC to DC conversion, you don't need an inverter. You just can, you're just charging directly from the DC coming off the DC source. In this case, solar panels. Uh, we're implementing different variants of this technology that would be connect to different DC sources, whether it's a DC bus for fleet charging solutions, or directly to uh, large battery systems, or to PV hybrid inverters that are in residences, for example, and connect off the same bus that's used to uh, uh, charge 400 volt um, home batteries. <clears throat> so uh, we have different flavors of architecture. This one's a 12 and a half kilowatt. We're also looking at a 25 kilowatt 
uh, variation. Uh, it's kind of the poster child for what we're talking here. We have Everest uh, built in. We're using a Phytech uh, 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 SOM that we've uh, worked with them to build a carrier board around, uh, and it's all in this device. <clears throat> um, and this demo is not running off of solar panels. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get that all working. We're, it's being powered by a three kilowatt, I think it's a four kilowatt, uh, 400 volt DC power supply that we have connected up into one of the, uh, a, a, a 240 volt connection off of one of the chargers. So, but you can imagine it's a DC coupled architecture and can work with any sort of DC coupled infrastructure. So thanks very much. Yep. Thank you. No, there's not m much difference in the efficiency. It's, it's I think around in 97 to 98, 97 and a half to 98 percent efficiency overall. Yeah, and there's MPPT built in to the strings, so you can maximize uh, the uh, the string output. All right, thank you. I saw Martin coming in, coming in the back here, so maybe we should. Let him go, you know, quickly introduce, you know, what they're going to do out there uh, <laughs> before we all head out, so to say, but then we all see the outdoor demos. See if we can get Martin to. <laughs> yeah. Martin, do you want to do you want to go and do you, you, you want to do something or you? We were stuck at yeah. You, you, have, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So that, 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 that's a challenge. Great. So what, what I will show, what, what, what our showcase is, so we have a, we call it Niki. It's similar like the um, micro megawatt charger. I don't know if it's already pre has been presented. Um, it's similar like that. The only difference is that we can easily change the hardware. So what you see is that we can, uh, we can replace that. In that case, we have here charge control C. Um, so... Uh, we could exchange this to different controllers because we are, as I told yesterday, we are the system integrator, so we need software and hardware to be exchangeable. The, the, the Niki itself can do up to 600 volts, um, yeah, and 1.7 milliamps. Running Everest on that, and yeah, let's see how it does. A little bit longer than 30 seconds, guys. No, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Okay, so with that, without further ado.